9, it's Aaron Schust and my Savior, my God. 710, good morning. Dan here, Sally Barton here as well. And Sally, we've, we've been talking this morning just about how amazing it is to see our community really pulling together. And I know you saw that even on your drive-in this morning. You know, on my drive-in, I came past the memorial knowing kind of the pain that that would um, open up again. And I was amazed. Dan, I had no idea how big that memorial had grown to. And even at that early hour, there were people wrapped around the fence line, mm -hmm. still there, paying their uh, respects. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's, it's um, very much still on all of our minds, of course. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so glad to see uh, some guests in our studio this morning as part of this <laughs> community support pulling together. Now, Pastor Tim, I'll, I'll bring you on first here. You're from Trinity Lutheran, and you're here with some friends this morning. Yes, um, thanks Sally and Dan for having us here this morning. You know, we've all been affected by um, what's happening. We're all connected with the emergency first response teams that's out there. We too at Trinity, we, uh, we have a preschool dad who passed away as one of the hot shots. And so what a blessing. We have Lutheran Charities. Um, they, take, they help our Lutheran churches with any disaster systems that we go through. And today we have the president of Lutheran Charities, um, Tim. And he's brought um, his director of our canine comfort dogs. These are amazing dogs. We have Luther with us today. Let me welcome our director, Tim, with us today. Well, good morning. Good yes, to be here. good morning. So grateful to have you here, Tim. And yes, Luther here as well. He's literally in our studio. Uh, Tim, tell us a little bit about Luther. Well, Luther is one of our comfort dogs. And he <laughs> has uh, been at, uh, gosh, every one of our... Uh, major disasters. I think he's part of the Admirals Club in flying. Uh, with that, that, he's been in Newtown, Boston, uh, Oklahoma, West Texas, all over uh, wherever there's been a crisis or a disaster. He's one of our internal dogs that we have of our total 70 dogs that we've placed out in eight states. You know, I love that word comfort. Tell me a little bit about how Luther is providing that comfort. Well, all of our dogs are, are specially trained, but they, when you pet a dog, you relax. Yes. And when you relax, you talk. And yes. people many times in their crisis situation will talk to a dog before they'll talk to a person. And so that talking through what they have gone through is an important part of the healing process. So we, uh, we're there with the dogs as the bridge for them to, to share, and then uh, we offer if they want to pray or what else we can do to spiritually support them. You know, Dan, when Luther walked in, our smiles came right back That's to our point. Faces. Yeah, it's like, oh, look, Luther's here. So, yeah, it really is some, some incredible value here. Now, I, I also want to hear in just a moment as we come back, how you're, you're providing comfort, you're providing peace through the dogs, but you're also providing comfort and peace through the gospel for these families as well. So grateful to have our friends here from the uh, Canine Comfort Team and uh, Lutheran Church Charities. We'll continue our conversation up next after Mercy Me here on Radio Shine. 